All right, cool guys. So um, with y'all's package, um, you guys get the shift app. Uh, I know we haven't talked too much about the shift app, but that's like literally the next step towards learning and towards understanding how to trade um, crypto uh, or Forex or nearly anything. So um, when it comes to looking at the graphs, it's super important to understand the graphs because that's going to tell you the, the story that you need to hear. That's going to show you where you're buying, where you, where you need to buy in, right? It's going to show you you know, uh, where not to sell, you know, you just got to always refer to the graph before you make any major decisions. <clears throat> if you're buying like a $30 shit coin, you know, it's not really that important. You know what I mean? If you want to do it for best practice, then uh, that's what I'm going to teach you guys today. Uh, but once we get down the line, we're going to have to, we're going to be putting major investments. So, you know, I got some people to say, Hey man, I got one K. What do I do with it? You know what I mean? Uh, so I can say something like, Put it in, you know, put it in Ethereum, put it in Bitcoin, put it here, put it there. But if they don't go look at the charts and understand what they're looking at the charts, they're going to put it in the wrong spot. And then that, 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 that's going to double your time to making money. That's how they play you. That, that's, that's how they play the game. Believe it or not, <clears throat> these yeah. markets are, yeah, these markets are pretty uh, set, staged in a way. Because the institutional traders who are you guys are, you guys are going against know the cues on the graph on when to put in, when to take out, when to pump, when to dump. Um, those are the ones that y'all are going against. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a chart real quick. Um, but meanwhile, can you guys download the app Shift app? It's like, it's like a blue app that has an S on it. I got it on my phone already. Bad, perfect. Cool, let me see. Shift should look like this because it, it comes with y'all's um, y'all's package. So uh, you guys could be putting in money, just put put these trades in, and then they should theoretically make you guys money while you guys just go about your day. Once you guys get better at this, then um, you know you, you should you should be making some cash just passively from this alone. So it looks like this right here, this app, the Shift app. <clears throat> cool. I was playing around a little bit. Cool. But yeah, the charts right here, guys. Okay, Jack Jordan. Bring that man. All right. So do you guys know how to read the charts at all? Does anybody have any experience? Right. Hmm? Jake, did you say you, you, you know the charts? Yeah, no, so I've been uh I've been, I've been, that's what I've been busy doing the last couple of days. So good crash course on chart reading because learning from my mistakes. <laughs> Hell yeah, good shit. Josh, you, you familiar with the charts a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I know how to <clears throat> navigate a little bit. I know the difference between the time, uh, timings or the times. Mm -hmm. Is at the top left, the one hour versus one each. Uh -huh. you now you can change that. You have different uh, point of views. Uh -huh. I usually use like the 15 minutes for like, the best way I can describe it is like being on a battlefield and then like the one hour, 24 hours of like just being further pictures back or mm -hmm. bigger pictures of the battlefield. Right, yeah. So Josh uses battlefield because he was in the army. Um, so yeah, yeah, whatever way it makes sense for y'all. <clears throat> um, so one hour chart, I'll get to that part. Uh, it just basically means every single candle is just the price action of, of one hour, right? So you guys are looking at some candles, you're seeing red and green. Um, each candle is a representation of one hour, right? So it just tells a story of, of the way Bitcoin has been moving per hour. Yeah, I'll get to that part. But um, Devon, do you have any experience with the charts, bro? Yeah, just the basics, just the... Uh... The candlesticks by the uh, hour, the day, mm -hmm. the week, the month. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christian, gotcha. Cool. Uh, wh what about you, Jack? You ever played around with the charts before? Yeah, I've been checking them out. I wouldn't say I'm an expert by any means, but you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, you you guys understand kind of like the basics of what you guys are looking at, or or should I just give like an overall breakdown of it? <clears throat> I mean, it won't hurt if you go through a breakdown real quick. Yeah. Got you. What's up, Kristen? What's going on? Hey, hey. 
Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Um, yo, Jack, Kristen, she's in Texas too. <clears throat> um, Kristen, me, everybody else. We got, we got Devon. We got, we got Jake. We got Josh. We got Jack, who's in Texas as well. Who trying to get you guys familiarized? This is Kristen. Met her outside of Carl Cox. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> yeah, good times. <laughs> <This is lit>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of going over the chart here. So just so you guys understand what you're seeing. Um, so right now, I'll, I'll just kind of just show you what's going down with Bitcoin. So understand this, guys. Whatever Bitcoin does, altcoins follow. Right? So any Bitcoin news, if you guys hear any news about Bitcoins, just already anticipate that the altcoin market is going to follow. That means the shit coins, and that means the uh, altcoins as far as like, you know, Polygon, Ethereum, everything else, <clears throat> right? So if you want to get a good representation of uh, where the market's going to move, then you can definitely follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin will future cast the rest of the market. So if Bitcoin does something, then, you know, a little bit later, the rest is going to follow. So um, understanding the Bitcoin USD chart, uh, that's what I've been doing all day a little bit. Uh, and that's what's going to help you guys. So uh, if you guys are looking at this, write this down or pin this website um, somewhere. If you guys are in the laptop, it's tradingview.com. That, that, this website is super important. Tradingview.com. <clears throat> because TradingView is where you're going to go for your, your live charts. So you can put you can put anything. You know what I mean? Like I, I got, if I want to trade the gold to the USD, that's what gold's looking like. You know, gold's going up because the USD is going down. You know what I mean? Um, I, I could put anything. Here's Dogecoin right here. So this is Dogecoin. Definitely going on a downward trend. Cool. Um, a few key indicators that'll let you know when it's time to go back up, right? So as I was saying, you guys are going you're trading with institutional traders. Now, the reason, <clears throat> the reason that you guys are seeing these huge, like, like uh, drops in price in within the candles is because retail traders if you just leave retail traders which means us people like you and me and you know just people just people the charts are only going to move like this right this is what they're going to look like the charts aren't going to look too crazy like this right here right <clears throat> so you got two different examples of, of the way the charts are going you got these huge ass candles that are just fucking pouring. And then you got these little small bitty ones. <clears throat> Those little small bitty ones that you can say that's us, right? Because we're not pumping tons of volume into the market, right? It takes, it takes billions of dollars, billions of dollars to just make it move just a little bit. You know what I mean? So when we're making, if, if we just make it move a little bit, that, that's billions of dollars. It's not really going anywhere. So um, if you guys ever hear a term market cap, um, the lower the market cap is, the more volatile it's going to be, right? Because the lower the market cap is, let's just say that a market cap is $100,000. That ain't nothing. That's really nothing, right? Anybody could put 50 grand and then that shit will shoot straight up, right? But try putting 50 grand into something that already has trillions of dollars in it right that shit ain't going nowhere that shit ain't going nowhere right so the higher the market cap is the lower your return is going to be just keep that as a rule of thumb so when you guys are looking at coins and you guys are looking you guys see where it says market cap and it has a low market cap and it's you know it's brand new and you see some potential you already vetted it it's secure um, a wallet doesn't have more than you know a certain percentage um and um i'll, I'll go over how to vet these coins um, again, in, a, in another another Tuesday, um, but um, that that that's what it is, right? The higher the market cap, the lower your your return is going to be, for real. Like in the short term, the lower the market cap, the higher your returns are going to be in the short run, right? Because, you know, that's it. So, um, cool. These candles, these large candles, are institutional money. This is smart money right here. That's who you guys are going against. You guys are going against smart money. Now, what do I mean by smart money? Institutional traders, right? That's smart money. They know exactly when to buy and when to sell. They know exactly when to buy and when to sell. That's who you're going against, right? 
and they know they know people psychology. They're they're here to take y'all's money for sure. So they 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 use the markets. You know, it's kind of like this hidden this hidden code that every institutional trader knows that when it hits certain cues, certain points, that means buy, or when it hits certain parts, that means sell. Um, do you guys have any questions on that part or anything like that? Pretty pretty smooth. Just pretty stuff. Yeah, right. Just basic basic knowledge. So um, that's what you guys are looking at. Let me see. Let me pull it out for the day chart. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give a brief overview right here, guys, so so we can make sense of what's going on. So um, up at the top left, I have the currency that I'm looking at, that's the BT, BTC USD, so Bitcoin. Uh, the D right there, that means it's a day, one day. So every single candle you guys are looking at is the price action of one day. So if I go to, let's just say, this can this candle right here, one of these red candles, from fifty four thousand all the way to forty eight thousand in one day. That's what this candle represents, because the price went from fifty from fifty four, actually all the way to uh, forty four. It actually hit forty four all in the same day, fifty four to forty four. That's ten grand that it dropped off that one candle. Now that's that's institutional money, and that's just a whole volume of people just just selling, right? So cool. Um, that's that's why I'm pretty relaxed when the markets go down because I know that there's institutional traders waiting for it to hit a specific spot, and that's what's gonna make you guys beast. I'm telling you guys, you guys will be beast if you guys understand the charts, right? It goes more than just learning what the coin is, you know. It goes more than learning what the purpose behind the coin is. You got to see people's emotion behind the coin. What you're looking at is a live representation of people's emotions on that coin. That's literally what you guys are looking for. So um, as a rule of thumb, if you're a trader, you understand what a 618 Fibonacci retracement is, right? So, you know, the idea that the market's just going to keep going forever, that's that, that's not going to happen. It's just, it's just not going to keep. That means nobody's making any money. That means everyone's just kind of like just being passive, just giving away their money and never expecting a return. The markets have to come down. And when they come down like this, this far right here, that's called a correction. A correct, that's a price correction. Like, all right, hey, 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 we inflated it, we inflated it. Let, let, let's go, let's let's correct it real quick. Like, where, where are we really at, right? Where, where are the people going to let it stop dropping? And that's right here. So I, I, I want to say that we did actually hit that, that drop because what a 618 Fibonacci retracement is, and look this up, right? From, from the get of the spike, it's a basic retracement halfway down, right? So this triple top right here, was my indicator that the market was going down. I think Jack, I told you something about the uh, about us having a crash pretty soon, didn't I? I mentioned that we were going to have a crash soon. Yeah. Yep. Before it before it even happened, I told Jack, I was like, yo, we're due for a crash. It's literally about to happen. So let's let's prepare ourselves for the crash. And then days later, uh, about a week, we hit the crash. And that's because this right here, when you see a triple top, that signifies a reversal in the market. Triple top equals a reversal in the market. So today I've actually been waiting for a triple top on the one hour, a triple bottom, should I say? Because it's the same thing, just opposite, right? When I see a triple top, I know that there's a reversal in the market. It's just one of those, just one of those hidden rules, right? That if you understand all the little hidden rules that are there, that other institutional traders are, are, are keeping mindful, then that's, when you trade in line with them, that's what's going to make you successful. 100%. When you trade in line with the, with the people who have the, the real money, those who are pushing the real money, and those are the, the large banks, financial institutions that are pushing billions and billions and billions a day, right? So... Um, that's that's kind of what I wanted to uh, just overview a little bit, but 
Um, yeah, that's that. That's where we're at. We're, let's just say we're, we hit 65. Cool. Yeah. So right now, guys, it's it's perfect. It's optimal buying opportunity, right? If we bought up here, it's cool. No worries. We learned our lesson, right? <clears throat> but this is this is why I want to tell you to stay disciplined on the charts, right here, right here. Look, look at this. I'm gonna use this as an example, right here. Okay, so let's just say, yo, know, Josh, I'm gonna pick on you, bro. So let's just say that Josh put in about a few hundred bucks in yummy coins right here, <laughs> right here, right? Cool, that, that was his entry point at the top. Somebody said, hey, Josh, buy yummy coin and he did he went all in at the top right which let, let's just say let, let, let's count it right here at the top from from here on up he bought at the top well guess what everybody knows that shit's gonna go down what is the point of buying at the top it's more disciplined to wait for the correction because the correction is it's gonna happen no matter what. It's going to happen. So if you're looking at a chart, guys, so if, if, if somebody says, hey, jump into this, it's booming. Fucking pause for a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's booming, that means I'm already too late. I'm gonna wait for the, the price correction and then I'm gonna jump in at the bottom. Because if I jump in at the bottom, it can only go what way? Up. Uh, that's straight profit, like straight fucking gains right there. Straight fucking gains. No bullshit, that's straight gains. It's not gonna go down to zero, right? If that's what you guys are fearing. As long as that thing is at 0 0.000001, you're still live, right? You're still in the trade. Because even if it drops to 0, 0.0, Bitcoin would drop to, it's never gonna happen, but from, 60,000 <clears> to like $8,000. What are people going to do? Let's just say somebody got in at, at, at 55,000 and then it dropped to 8,000 saying, oh, I just want to preserve my 8,000. Everybody's going to sell. Then they fucking lost everything in between. They lost everything in between. Only for Bitcoin to fucking stop at 8,000 and then shoot all the way up to 80,000. Right? That is why you don't sell. Because if you sell at a, on a loss, you, you're losing. When you know it's going to go up anyways, it's just being impatient. So look at this. All right, so Josh, you bought right there, right? Cool. Then the market went down. <clears throat> right? And then you said, oh, shit. All right, cool. Whatever. I, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that again. It's going to take you so much time. It's going to take you all this time. And I, remember, we're looking at a day chart here. It's going to take you, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, like 20, a month until you start seeing just a little bit of profits. Can, can you guys see the lines or should I zoom in here? Look, look at this, shit. Let me expand it, right? So you got in right here, Josh, where the line is and then it dropped, right? You wanna get in right here. That's where you want to get in, right? Because if you go at the top of something spiking, it's too late. So boom, now you had to wait an entire month for this to get right back to the line. And then you better have cashed out right there, right? This was the only prop. After all that time, this is the only profit you got. And let's just say that you were thinking it was just going to keep shooting up in order for that motherfucker just to go right back down and you never have profit. You never ever have profit. It's gonna take you so damn long to get profit. It's gonna take you, I mean, at, at this rate, you're probably gonna have to wait another month and some change to see a profit. 
That's what happens when you jump in at the top. That's what happens when everybody says, everybody jumping on this coin, this shit's shooting up. <clears throat> and then you do it. You're going to wait hell along. And by that time, you're going to be impatient. And by that time, you're going to need the money or some, and then you're going to sell. <clears throat> and then you sell for a loss. That's how the game go. That's literally how the game go. You sold for a loss. You put money in to lose it. You became a market donor. Donating to the market, you know what I mean? So you don't do that. You you want to go in at the, at the bottom. You, you got to wait. Now, now there's a lot of questions that come after this. Like, well, how do we know where it's going to go? You know, all that stuff. So that's why you want to learn the charts. <clears throat> I'm not going to cover all of that in this call. I just wanted to provide an introduction for you. So you guys are aware that the next time you guys dive into some coins, you know, take a step, write it down, take a step back and look at it. Do you guys have any questions on this so far or anything like that? Pretty chill, cool, cool. All right, cool. So I'm on the day chart right here. So <clears throat> let me let me let me start from a top down analysis for you guys here. This is the Bitcoin, the weekly charts, the weekly chart. Hell, I'm I'm, I'm even going to the month chart. <clears throat> and Kristen, what I was telling them uh, before you came in was that. Um, Bitcoin, all the altcoins follow what Bitcoin does. So if you want to know where the altcoins are going, pay attention to Bitcoin because that, that'll tell you. It, it'll be a little bit, it'll be a lag, it'll be a little bit delayed, but it, it'll, it'll tell you. <clears throat> so here you go, guys. So 618 Fibonacci retracement. Let's see. Cool. So as you guys can see, let me see, let me try to get all these windows out. We got a lot of shit that's open. Okay, cool. So as you guys can see that right here, what's up, Justin? What's up? Shit. Thanks, trigger happy, man. Fucking... <clears throat> so it shot up came back down halfway a little bit, consolidated a little bit down, but then, you know, shot up, kind of came back down halfway a little bit. Shoots up, comes back down halfway a little bit. Just, it's not exactly 50%, it's more 618, uh, 61.8, but um, that's that's that. So the way I look at a chart, guys, I, I look at it from, from top down analysis. So I'm, I'm on a monthly chart. That means each candle is the price action of a month. Obviously, that thing them exploded all the way the motherfucker up. So cool. That's a week. That's a monthly chart. That, that's been the price action of a month. Uh, weekly, this is week, Bitcoin's weekly history. So it's kind of stayed stagnant for a while, as you guys can see, right? It's just been kind of going sideways. History repeats itself. So, you know, just... so cool. Had a major spike. Believe it or not, this spike right here was once this right here. So what we're looking at now, that's what it, right. What looks like right now is what it looked like back then. Right. So that's knowing that we're going bullish. We're going on a bullish uptrend. That's what gives me comfort. That's what lets me know that the market as a whole is going up, which is cool. Right. That just means that I, you know, within I got to be smarter so I can capitalize on some games a lot faster. And I'm just going to do a quick day and then an hour and then that's it. I'll, I'll go ahead and get you guys set up with your shift apps. <clears throat> So shot up, we got the market correction right here. Now it still could go a little bit south, guys. It could still go a little bit south. If I'm looking at the hour, at the hour chart, and you guys are gonna be beasts at navigating through this. So um, this is trading view. Again, this is trading view. Cool. All right, so this is, this is what I see right here, guys. I know I'm moving around a lot, excuse me. So remember on that last display, I showed you guys that triple top and what that meant, that that meant a reversal in the market. So we just got some brand new hope. We saw some light that the crash is, you know, quote unquote over. Um, now we just got to verify, is it really over? You know, and the way we verify is just by looking at these little cues. So cool. I see a triple top forming right here. One, 
two, three. Now it has to hit, has to break through specific key points in order to kind of let us know the progression of Bitcoin. Is it going to progress or is it going to go keep going down south? So let's see, let's see. Could definitely consolidate this way. You know what I mean? It, it could still, it could consolidate. And that what that does <clears throat> is it bores you. Be be very aware of this of this part. Whenever you're bored off the price action of a coin, that means people completely forgot about it. Whenever you're bored from a coin, that's when you need to pay attention the most. Right? Because if you pay attention when when the coin ain't doing nothing. And then you you get these little cues and then you decide to jump in you are gonna get in and then later is when you're gonna hear your friend saying oh hey hey jump in jump in jump in right if you pay attention during that period of time and then you see the clues that they give you the go ahead to jump in the specific key levels and all the terminology you guys will familiarize it yourself you guys will familiarize it. Uh, if you jump into that thing, then you will be ahead of the curve. Everything is gains. Everything is gains. And that's what we're here for. We're here for the gains, right? So right now, guys, I think it's a beautiful time to buy. Beautiful time to buy. Those people were shaking off all the weak paper hands. All the people that don't believe in it <clears throat> are shaking off. All the people believe that Bitcoin's gone for good because it can't keep up with, with uh resource efficiency you know all that stuff well cool let them be gone right bitcoin is an investment wheel and everybody knows that this is an investment wheel bitcoin has trillions of dollars in bitcoin trillions that's trillions of smart money dollars trillions of financial institution dollars y'all think they're, they're gonna let this shit go away no sir no, ma'am. No. Bitcoin has the highest market cap times two or three than every other coin in the world. Right. There's a lot of money in Bitcoin, which is why this ain't going nowhere. So when you if you believe the news without looking at the chart, then you would have pulled out and waited for a rumor to tell you when to jump back in. By the time you hear the rumor. That's it. So cool. That's the reason for today's call, guys. So um right here i'm looking for the price to break this right here because if it breaks this guys check this out if it breaks this lower high right there i want it to break right there right because this is called a lower high why is it called lower high so if, if you guys are looking at this right you see all these just little hills boom 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 it kind of it drops and then it picks back up that top point where it picks back up, that's called a lower high. You never buy at the lower highs. You sell at the lower highs. You don't buy at the lower highs. So write that down, keep that in mind. That's, that's very important. That's, that's what happened with Josh. Josh, you buy, you buy, um, and then you, you bought a um, yummy coin at a lower high. And I like I sound picking on you, but you bought yummy coin at a lower high and then it dropped. Right, you want to catch those in the higher lows. I mean, in the um, the lower lows. And I'll explain that. So that's a lower high. That's a lower low, right here, because it's lower, and it's low. It's higher, higher low. Lower low. Higher low. Lower low. Higher low. Lower low. Higher low, lower low. Is anybody confused? I know it takes a little bit to process. Can I can I uh, touch on something too, Ira? Please, yeah, yeah, go for it. Awesome, awesome. Um, I love it though. I love it, guys. Um, so as many of you are on this call, you know you're you're investors. You know you, you got into crypto investing, right? And what Ira was saying about um you know buying in at the right times right instead of more so you know looking at a chart right essentially um 
you know, trading and investing, you know, number one game is going to be patience. Number one skill set you're going to learn is patience, not just with, you know, um, for your results to come in, for your profits, you know, to turn more profits, but also too, you know, getting in at that, you know, what we call a sniper entry or a sweet spot, so to speak, right? So for example, like I posted that, um, the XRP, right? My XRP trade the other day, you know, off of a, a, a 1.00, it, it profited over 1200 bucks in a matter of, you know, less than a day, right? So that's the benefit of knowing both ends of this game, right? You can make profits from that and the trading side, cool, withdraw that. Now you're using just what we call house money to make more profits turn into more assets, right? Instead of having to always take out of your pocket, your paycheck, you know, so this is where you can really leverage the fact of, like I was saying, you know, you know about something that's going to happen based on patterns, right? Uh, I've been trading for since 2016, guys. It's, it's literally lines and patterns, just like you're seeing on the screen, right? You get good at recognizing these patterns to where you're looking at the chart from afar. You know, I mean, sitting back from your computer and literally seeing like, oh, I see this pattern, you know, a triple top, double bottom, whatever, right? A flag pattern you know, channels, stuff like that, you're going to be able to capitalize on those while say, for example, someone who just throws their money at a random moment, and then it's still going on a downtrend or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas you got in at that peak of the downtrend reverse. So just wanted to add that guys, at least the importance of the, you know, trading side of things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, appreciate that, Justin. Justin's my mentor, guys. He's he. If you guys need anything, he's here to help you guys navigate through anything. So, you know, I, I go to him if I need anything. So, um, he's here to help. Really good trader. Um, feel free to pick his brain out anytime. Uh, but what I did right here, guys, is I I put a buy zone, right? So this this would be my next buy zone, right? So what did I say about the lower highs? You don't buy at the lower highs. You buy at the the lower lows, exactly. Josh, uh, Jack Jordan, I saw you. I saw you whisper that <laughs> smooth. So I'm waiting for price to retrace right here before I buy again. Now check this out. What if it doesn't? Then that's a damn good thing because then it's gonna break a specific key level that's gonna let me know. All right, cool. We're in action. You know, I, I could see. The reversal hitting i can see it giving signs of it taking off right it's not a hundred percent on the nothing's ever a hundred percent but that's what i'm saying um do you guys understand that part hey if you guys have questions you know please please feel free to unmute your mics so no, yeah go ahead can you redo that one again Say that again. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. So, um, Josh, remember how I said never buy at the uh, lower highs? So you don't you don't buy at the lower highs because you're expecting it to keep dropping, right? So there's no point. You want to maximize your gains. So I see a lower high. I'm not going to jump in right there. I'm going to be patient and wait for this zone right here that zone is going to tell me all right cool uh it's 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 lower low time because it's going to be lower than this boom go ahead and buy it this is this is a buy zone of course there's other buy zones in case it does break through but you know what i mean you don't you don't want to predict you want to react um does anybody not have their shift app you guys all have your shift app? Right, cool. I'll check this out real quick. I'm about to chime in here. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown and then you know we should wrap it up here pretty soon. <clears throat> but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I usually like to keep calls maximum an hour because we all got shit to do. Yeah, that shit tripped me out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's that new like, upgrade, man. I was like, what the fuck is recording? I thought was, I didn't know if it was Zoom or my computer. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> cool. All right, so I'm about to uh, 
about to log in right now. I'm about to share my screen with you guys just so I can show you guys what's up. All right, cool. All right, so this is this, this right here. Um, so with B, um, you have access to a lot of resources. So, you know, you got Relic, which is specific for crypto, Sense, Quantum, NFX, which is binary, WoW, Oracle. Uh, Shift app is the one that y'all have. It looks like this. <clears throat> so uh, go ahead and download that. Uh, go ahead and download that. So. Uh, what the shift app's going to do is you're going to get it, it's more on forex uh, because that's the package the learner package you know it has forex they're going to work on another package that has more crypto but um, if you purchase the bronze which i think is all you need um, to start this is what you guys get um, that comes with it if you want to upgrade to the relic app which is heavy on the crypto side um, by all means let me know we'll help you upgrade but as far as um the relationship between pairs and graphs, this is where you guys are gonna be able to start making money passively, right? So um, that top box, you see NZD JPY. Uh, what that trade is, it's the New Zealand dollar to the Japanese yen. So every currency has a relationship and the graphs depict that relationship, right? So <clears throat> that's the NZD to the JPY. I know I'm going to confuse some of y'all, so don't, don't, don't trip. <clears throat> this, this is a process, but I just want to introduce this to you guys. That's my main goal is just to get in front of y'all's face because this is, this, is, this is how we're going to learn. So <clears throat> NZD, JPY, cool. Um, when you get a signal, that means that one of the top guys uh, or one of the uh, master traders has said, hey, I'm looking at my analysis, and this is where I see the NZD, JPY going, right? So this person said it's a sell. So, hey, I'm selling NZD JPY. So uh, I'm selling it at 778. My TP, TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, those are your take profits. And then you got your stop loss, which is your stop loss. That means that um, when you guys enter a trade, it's not going to let you run. You know, it's not meant for you guys to just buy in and it go all the way up and down. You're going to set boundaries and it's very, very, very important to set those boundaries. So one of the boundaries is how much you're willing to lose, how much um, negative pips you're willing to go into. And then you have how much money I've made in pips. Hey, Justin. What's up? Um, do you want to explain this part a little bit? The pips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and explain it for him. All right. Guys, so what you're looking at is basically a trade signal or trade alert notification that our expert traders will send out to you via the shift app, right? They'll get sent in real time. Um, you see this is the NZD, so the New Zealand dollar versus the Japanese yen by STP. That's Stefan Burrows, one of our uh, expert traders, right? This is a, a sell. Let me see if I, can draw, I can't draw on your screen. Um, entry at 78.7. That's the price. Okay, and it's a sell, right? You want to get as close as possible when you take these trades or when you start to take these trades um, to that number. So um, right there, when it comes to pips, right, you see under take profit, take TP number one, 78.5, TP number two, dot, 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 right? Um, pips is basically a unit of measurement on the charts, right? So as Ira was going over the time frame measurement, this is how you calculate your wins or your profits, right? PIPs is an acronym, P-I-P, -P, stands for percentage in points, right? So for example, the smallest trade you could put in the, on a Forex trade is a 0 0.01, okay? And that'll be in the MetaTrader app, which he'll, he'll get to that, right? So 0 0.01 actually translates to about 10 cents. So 10 cents roughly, right? So you do 10 cents times 20, you hit take profit one, cool, a quick two bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, that's how it works. And then so on and so forth. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Justin's way better at explaining it than I am. But I'm going to show you guys how to actually copy paste it. Um, so this is all you guys have to do, right? So download the app MetaTrader 4. Looks like that. That's MetaTrader 4. So you guys will have this app. MT4, MetaTrader 4, write it down. Yeah. Um, go ahead and download that, y'all. 
<clears throat> so when you download it, you're going to be able to trade all these all these forex pairs. Also, you're going to be able to put the signals in. So all I'm really going to do, you know, has the uh, all the pairs that are tradable. And then you got the chart right here. You can look at the charts. You got trade. You got the history, and then you got settings. So right here, that's where I'm going to enter the trade. Took all my cash out because I don't need it there. I wanted to put the, all that stuff in crypto. Um, so all I'm really going to do, guys, and again, you don't have to remember this, but I'm going to hit that plus button at the top right. And that brings me to this screen. At the very top, I'm going to see all the currency pairs. So I click on it. Homie said NZD JPY. So I go and find NZD JPY. Boom. Cool. Now I'm trading NZD JPY. Just so you guys know, I can trade XRP USD right here. This is the actual just, just trading, like Forex trading, XRP USD. I can trade Bitcoin USD, right? I could trade a lot of pairs. So whenever you get signals, if you get a signal that says um, BTC USD, then go ahead and enter this because theoretically what it's going to do, is going to make you money off this trading app. And what you want to do with the money that you make off this trading app, that's, that's prime for supplying you with money to throw back into your investments. So we're making money two ways here, guys, which is fucking beautiful. We're making money two ways. Go ahead and just put in the signals. That'll make you money and whatever capital you get from trading which you can make a lot. I got homies that make, make over a hundred grand in a day doing this, like 50 racks easily a day, 30 racks, 20 racks on any given moment they want to. So that's, that's what you can do, get off of this. So uh, he said, NZD JPY, I'm just going to put this in and then we'll be done. I'll be there to help you guys um, afterwards. Where the fuck is it? All right, cool. Trade. All right, cool. All right, so all I'm going to do is that stop loss, copy. Just hit that copy button. So I'm going to go where it says stop loss. If I tap it, it's going to auto populate. So I hit paste, boom. That's it. Copy, paste. So take profit. Let's go. Let's go get the take profit real quick. He said TP1, copy. Literally. It auto populates when you tap it. So I just gotta paste. Now, was it a buy or sell? He said sell. So what am I gonna hit? I'm gonna hit that sell button, right? Bam, that's it. Boom, that's it. Let's see how much money this trade makes me in my sleep, you know, in a few hours. Let, let's see what happens. It's always going to start negative because you got to pay the spread because that, that's pay to play. But check this out, guys. You guys don't have to put real money in, into this. Um, you guys have fake demo money to play with until you guys get comfortable with the way it works. And then you could toss in real money. Right. And when we get there, I'll help you guys out. But we're not there yet. Um, so th this what it's going to do It's going to go up and down. You can watch it all you want to. It's, it's, it's designed to make you guys money passively. Use this tool. Put the signals in. This should make you money passively. It's not 100% winners, but um, it's it's 80%. So last Good thing up. right here. You got questions? Sorry. That was good odds. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because these guys are pros, man. Um, so right here, guys. Check this out. 15 minute chart is where I always operate when it comes to this. So M15. So the stop loss guys, just, just for clarification, is these boundaries right here. So right here, you see TP, right? You guys see that where it says TP? That's your take profit. So that means that when this candle touches that line, it's automatically going to take you out of the trade with a profit. Automatically. 
So it, it, it's 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 gains. There's another one. There's a uh, a stop loss. So that's an SL. Let's see where it's at. Cool. All the way the hell up here. Cool. So the stop loss right here. It's, it's all the way up here. So you gave it a 60 pip cushion. So this is your cushion. So that means that the candles can shoot all the way up here, right? That's completely cool. And then come all the way back down and just smash right through it. They could do that. But what a stop loss is, is that if it comes all the way up here, but if it touches that line, you're being taken out of the trade with the fat loss. Now I know what this guy's doing. He, I think he's he's seeing a, a triple a triple top, meaning reversal. So usually you want to give that stuff some cushion for sure. So I see what they're doing, but that's it, really it. It touches this line, you're out with the loss. It touches that line, you're out with the win. Based off what the pros say, you just copy paste, and that's it. These are all some other trades, you know what I mean. So back back then, I was just play around full transparency you know what i mean i played around with some blues are my wins reds are my losses learn learn some made some mistakes blues money coming in you know there's a point in time where i was fucking really good but then i just decided not to stay up so late and i fucking just fucked that up cool um let me see let me uh do you guys have any yep. questions on that? I, I don't have a question, but um, yo, I, I gotta go run another team training here. But um, yeah, great work, nice Ira. Time. Everyone else, shout out for showing up, guys. Um, mm -hmm. these little bit of information, you know, piece by piece, will add up, and down the road, you're gonna be super successful investors and you know even better traders, guys. So uh, much love to y'all. Appreciate y'all hopping on, but mm -hmm. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, likewise, bro. Appreciate you, Peace, man. family. Yes, sure. sir. Thanks, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, do you guys have any? We're coming at the top of the hour. Do you guys have any other questions? Anything for that? Show along this. That cool. Good info, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's really good stuff to know. Um, uh, just because that's it's that's what's going to separate you guys from being, you know, rookie, and that's what's going to put you guys in the, uh, you know, advanced. That those are the stepping stones. So. You know, if I, if I if I didn't show this to you guys, and that that's that's not helping you guys at all. So you know, kudos to you guys for showing up um, to get this stuff. I'm gonna make sure everybody else gets the recording. I'll I'll put it on the YouTube channel. So any calls that we do, you guys can just go to the YouTube channel. Uh, but if you guys have any any questions, you know, on anything else, just just hit my line. That's it. You can hit up Jake as well or Justin as well. Cool. Uh, that's it. That. That's all I got, y'all. Thanks. Mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you. You got it. We'll do another follow up call just to, just to lightly touch on the MetaTrader app itself. But as long as you guys got MetaTrader 4 and Shift, um, play around with it. Sign up. Let me know if you guys need help. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm going to tap in with you soon. Thanks, man. Sounds good, brother. All right. I'll okay. holler at you guys later.